1897, in a small carriage house in the city of St. Louis, the foundation was built for Principia. Principia founder Mary Kimball Morgan had no formal training in education, and she didn't set out to build a school. What she had was a firm belief in Christian science, a desire that her sons receive an education that fostered moral values and spiritual growth, and an unwavering trust in God's plan. She would reflect in later years that it was not human wisdom that had made this school possible, but God, and that He had furnished her with strong, wise, and loving helpers. Together, they would become the first builders of Principia. In 1898, it became clear that Mrs. Morgan was not the only one seeking a whole-person, Christian science-based approach to educating children. Word spread quickly of her work, more students joined, and the school expanded into a two-room storefront. It was without fanfare, but with a firm foundation, that our school began. Principia's history is marked by events that can only be described as divinely inspired. Many of the ideas that Mrs. Morgan introduced when she started this school were considered revolutionary in her day. Although now widely accepted, Divine Mind has been guiding, directing, and protecting this work from the beginning. The school's commitment to the development of each individual's highest potential continued to attract new students from around the world. And Principia expanded from the storefront to our first campus on Page Avenue in St. Louis. Housing was provided for boarders. A gymnasium was built and expanded levels of education, including a six-year junior college program, were put in place. In 1906, a week-long celebration was held for the first class graduating from upper school. There are many happy memories in the hearts of those who attended Principia throughout that era. Years of planning resulted in a four-year liberal arts college established across the Mississippi River. Along the bluffs of Elsa, Illinois, the college campus was modeled after an English country village and designed by renowned architect Bernard Maybach. The years moved rapidly and were infinitely rich in blessings, victories, and expansive love, as well as challenges and opportunities to overcome obstacles. Mrs. Morgan passed in 1948. But she had established a strong foundation built on principle, and the greatest period of growth was yet to come. By the 1950s, the once spacious Page and Belt campus had become too small to support increased enrollment at the school. With a deep conviction and purpose, the decision was made to expand once again. Plans for the country campus unfolded. Each detail thoughtfully and carefully planned, as is still evident today, in the 360-acre school campus that continues to bless our students. By the 1980s, students from coast to coast and from dozens of countries around the world flocked to the school and college campuses.
From the beginning, Principia's early builders recognized that the world needs individuals who can think clearly, vigorously, fearlessly, tolerantly, and unselfishly. One hundred twenty-five years later, we remain committed to educating students intellectually, socially, physically, morally, and spiritually. Today, you can see that commitment manifest in the new Simon Athletic Complex at the school, in the renovated School of Government building at the college, and in the expansive welcoming of diverse students who value a spiritually grounded educational program. Today's students enjoy enhanced facilities and groundbreaking technology. But the love and care shown each individual remain constant from the earliest days in the small carriage house. We see and embrace our students' innate, unlimited perfection and potential every day, in every activity, and we stand, as we always have, on principle. We call on our students to build on this foundation of principle. Principia's success lies in the hands of the past, present, and future builders.